It's an early Tuesday morning in downtown Boston. Above the State Street tea station, nestled between the skyscrapers, you'll find the old State House, where decisive moments in American history seem to hover in the air. Built in 1713, it's the oldest surviving public building in Boston, where Sam Adams, James Otis, John Hancock, and John Adams debated the future of the British colonies. Here, you'll find the setting for Brandeis University's Spotlight Forum series, Good morning. Good morning. Good, thanks. which presents Brandeis faculty and distinguished guests in discussions of international affairs. Today's program asks the audience to consider a question. Israel, state of the Jews or Jewish state? Professor Elon Troen, founding director of Brandeis' Schusterman Center for Middle East Studies, looks at Zionism. In Zionist thought, there's been a strong religious Base. On the other hand, the burden of those who became Zionists were protesting against God. And I would argue that the majority of the people who became Zionists a century ago and who became the people who founded the State of Israel were people who said, we can't wait for God for salvation. We can't wait for the end of history. We have to take our destiny in our own hands. Professor Asher Susser, a visiting scholar from Tel Aviv University who is affiliated with the Crown Center for Middle East Studies at Brandeis, examines the roles of Muslims, Arabs, and Jews. Israel is a reversal of the historical, traditional pyramid of Muslim society. Israel is a state where the Muslims have become the tolerated minority. This is completely, a total, absolute reversal of what the traditional order of things ought to be. This is an upsetting of the cosmic order. Susser defines Israel's national identity. Our Jewishness is parallel to Sweden's Swedishness, not to Sweden's Christianity. Our Jewishness is our nationality as Italians are Italians. Rachel Fish, doctoral student in Israel studies and producer of the film Columbia Unbecoming, explores American Jewish attitudes towards Israel taught to think about Israel as the center of Jewish spiritual life and the potential homeland of the Jewish people. The audience lingers as discussions continue, participants brought together by common interests and shared heritage. Then they depart, energized by this morning's food for thought.